What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our Manchester United breakdown of the new player pack, which is the eFootball and the big time selection with Rashford being the big time and you've got the eFootball Championship Volume 4. So look, I'm a Manchester United fan and I've been waiting for a beastly Rashford card to rival Romario and I think we finally have it, right? I know we've had a lot of different versions of Rashford. Uh, we had the English pack, the player of the week, we had all those versions of him. But I definitely think that this guy as a big time is a huge card, right? Especially because of the finishing and because of the different stuff that you can do with this card with the player skills and all that sort of stuff. And obviously being able to train up multiple skills, um, additional skills with the standard card and stuff is going to make a difference to this card as well, right? So we've already done Barcelona. If you all want to check that out, you can check it out after this video. It'll probably link in the description as well or after this video. But let's kick off, right? Because we're going to start with Rashi, right? And uh, go from best to, well, not even best to worst, but I think that definitely there is a hidden gem in this pack that people will probably overlook as well. So we'll get into it, right? So straight off the rip, we've got Rashford. He's got 87 acceleration and 76 uh, finishing, right? But it's the player skills that I like the most with this guy. Double touch. You've also got knuckle shot, dip and shot, long range shooting, first time shot. Insane. This is finally a brilliant version of Rashford up front. This is going to be, I'm telling you, lads, this guy is going to be insane. Um, he's only 18 in this as well. Uh, so it was from a uh, previous version of Rashford, as you can see here. It was from the February 2016, uh, where he was absolutely on fire in that month of February. And look, he's got everything that you could possibly want, right? And the thing, the thing I like about this Rashford card is, depending on how you train him up, there's so many different ways to train him up. I probably will do a training guide because there's three different versions of him, depending on how you actually play, your team, your play style, everything, right? But we have gone for a 95 rated version just for this video, just to show you the kind of variety you can have with him right with these stats you've got 97 acceleration now i know people are in the comments and they say oh you focus too much on acceleration i don't really level up acceleration for acceleration right i actually level it up for balance and offensive awareness right so you know he has he's okay with 90 acceleration but you've only got 77 offensive awareness which will impact his runs with the ai off the ball and 78 balance which if you're dribbling a lot you're not going to be able to you know get into dangerous areas 95 is probably enough if you wanted to depending on how you play him right you've got a couple of different options okay but for this version we have this this option of him here if you're not you know going to be running and gunning a lot with rashford you can obviously it depends right if you're going to be as i said if you're going to be using him as kind of like romario you know spinning defenders touch and go and gone you know getting in off balls just being kind of like you know playing a lot true central positions with rashford you could potentially take this down to 80 for the offensive awareness and 93 acceleration and you could boost up the dribbling to like 88 there to get the tight possession up and then you could probably take down the finishing to get the dribbling up to 90 and then you would have somebody that is just kind of you know he doesn't have the finesse of finishing such as um the other cards that we had there, or the other card we had there, and he doesn't have that explosive acceleration, but this is also a good goal poacher here as well, depending on how you play him, if you're more direct, right, and you like to run a lot, right, so if you don't like to run a lot, and you just want to use him kind of as a, kind of an all-rounder, you can go that route, you can go 88 with the dribbling, and then you could pop the rest onto acceleration, or else you could pop one more onto finishing to get it to 88, which is a 95 overall, but let me know if you want a dedicated guide on this with comparisons and stuff like that. But I definitely think he is the pick of the pack, right? Moving on, we do have Anthony as well. He's kind of had a mixed season. I think like the potential of this guy and the actual talent he has is unbelievable. Some of the best feet in the game. This is from the eFootball Championship Volume 4 pack. And the 22-year-old goes to a 93-94, depending on how you train him up. We've given him 94 acceleration, 94 dribble, and 93 ball control. A little bit lacking with the low pass and a little bit lacking with the stamina. But you kind of know what you're going to be getting with this guy. You know, he's an outright winger and you are going to be using him exactly as that. There's a lot of players like this available, such as Ansu Fati um, and even Standard Dembele and stuff that can play this role. But I do like this card and it's very similar to the card that they released here. Um, which was the Derby Day one. And then obviously his player of the week one had 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 ball control and 90 dribbling with 81 finishing. So it was a slightly different card and a slightly better card depending on how you train him up. Because obviously with this one, you had 78 offensive awareness, 90 acceleration. With this one, you have 94 acceleration with 78 awareness. So you can kind of, you can kind of like, you know, there's good and bad about every card that they, that they do release, but they're usually balanced kind of similarly, right? Next up, we have Varane. 
And I actually like Varane, lads. I think he's definitely a centre-back. I mean, have I been sleeping on Varane, lads? Have I actually been sleeping on Varane for quite a bit, right? He has weighted pass, which is excellent as a build-up centre-back. He also has man-marking, interception, aerial superiority, fighting spirit, blocker, acrobatic clearance, and heading. I mean, pretty much everything that you could possibly want there uh, without giving him any additional skills even. And he can play centre-back. He's got really nice acceleration straight off the rip. And watch what he levels up to, lads. This is just insane, right? This card is insane. Maybe I've been sleeping on him for quite a while. The French pack is exactly the same as him here. You can see that the only difference between this version and the French version of him is that the French version has one curl extra on his plus uh, one on, his, on the stats there. The rest of the card is identical with 21 levels each. Um, and they both have the same everything, like pretty much identical, right? But I do really like this guy. If you missed out on the French pack version of Varane, this guy is insane, lads. Look at the tackling. Look at the defensive engagement and awareness. And of course, you've still got that acceleration of 74 with 80 head and the 85 jump. So yeah, let me know what you think of that. I mean, I definitely think I'm going to spin for Varane on the live stream. Um, he looks absolutely incredible. And then another player, which I think is probably the hidden gem of this pack, is going to be Wan Basaka. He's had a great kind of turnaround in his in his season under Ten Hag. I think he's been very, very good when he's been playing. And this guy, I've always said, lads, I'm a big fan of right backs that are super defensive, right? I know I play Carlos left back in my main squad, but if I am playing a right back, I usually play Maldini there or somebody like Kuhn there. Somebody that has got really good acceleration, but really high defensive stats like Timber, uh, Kuhn there, somebody like Maldini, even that Maldini doesn't have blister and pace. He's got excellent defensive awareness and capabilities. But when Basaka lads on A form this week is going to be a problem. He is insane. Blocker and interception, sliding tackle, fighting spirit, but he's also got double touch. So a lot of the stuff that you would be probably like missing out on dribble wise compared to, you know, even Balde from the Barcelona pack that can play a bit of ball up the wing. You've got double touch and you've also, you know, give a boost to your dribbling. You're going to have a really good card here um, as well. So when we do like look at him here, you're going to have 97 tackling with 93 aggression, 80 defensive awareness and 88 defensive engagement. But you're also going to have 80 balance, 81 stamina, 91 speed and acceleration. And then on top of that, your dribble and a tight possession is going to be insane as well. Now, if you do manually defend a lot, right, this defendant is probably overkill. So you could probably get away with 95 tackling. That will give you seven progression points back. So you could pump that in to get 80 dribbling, which would be very decent and just pop one more on then to physical contact to get up to 70. I probably think that's the best version of him. Um, Insane stats, insane player skills for dribbling, you know, boosted by that 80 dribbling stat and then the double touch as well. And then he's got blocker and interception, which will... I mean, man, this guy is probably going to be one of the best right backs in the game. Obviously, um, you know, there's some really good right backs there, but I genuinely think you, you'll you find it hard to find a, a kind of a, a registered right back that is an actual right back. I know a lot of people play three center backs with a left back or a right back, but I definitely think this is going to be, this is going to be a problem card for most wingers, lads, genuinely. And then last but not least, we have McTominay who is uh, a 90 overall DMF when we train him this way, but he's box to box, right? So again, good player skills you can see there. Um, I like the fact that he has 90 stamina and 90 aggression. Uh, anytime I've come up against McTominay, lads, he's been a, he's been an issue for me. You find, find it very hard to get past him in midfield. He kind of has that Vieira type um, play style where he just gets his leg in the way or gets his foot in the way or anything like that. So yeah, look, he is kind of a bit limited compared to, <coughs> excuse me, other box-to-box -box players um, that we'll see in a little bit with this series that we're doing. But yeah, I mean, very, very solid stats across the board. Just a very good performer um, that plays a little bit above his stats defensively. Attacking-wise and going forward as a box-to-box, -box, I don't really think he's 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 up to it, um, you know, even compared to like the likes of Goretzka or somebody like that or Barella. Um, but they're the, you know, they're the, they're the best of the best. So I do like this card. If you do spin in your pursuit of any of the rest of these boys, I definitely think wan is not like a bad one to get either. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll be back and let me know if you want any specific training guides. Until next time, lads, I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.